Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to give objects outlines in Blender 2.6. So that's pretty much self-explanatory, so I don't need to explain anymore. Let's start by opening up a new scene. Okay, so press Ctrl N uh, if you haven't got a default scene open. And we're going to use a cube and a sphere in order to... Well, they're, they're just going to be the objects we're going to use. So, the material here, we're going to call this cube, because it's going to be on the cube, and we're just going to make this a nice blue colour. And a quick tip is to not make anything too strong when we're making these nice uh, scenes like this, because otherwise, you know, it just looks too saturated and nasty and stuff like that. Um, but that's just personal opinion, you might prefer that. Okay, so the next object we're going to add is a sphere, so we're going to press Shift A and then choose UV sphere and if we just move this to a place we like just like that really don't have to go into too much detail uh, but with the sphere we're going to tick smooth we're going to click it and we're, then we're going to press control 2 and that will just make it even more smooth by adding a subsurf modifier okay and we're going to make this red so it's going to be called sphere and let's just make that red Okay, I hope I'm not going too fast, because I apparently do that sometimes. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to want to do is create some simple lighting. So I'm going to grab the lamp, which is just here, and change it to sun by going to this place over here and clicking on sun here. And then uh, I'm going to change the colour to a sort of light yellow, because the sun's yellow and I kind of want to give it sort of an outdoor looking scene. Uh, well, slightly outdoor anyway, because the shadows aren't going to look right. But anyway, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just go to the world and ch uh, tick on blend sky. I'm going to make the horizon color a light grey, something like that. And the zenith color to be completely white. Might just darken out that um, horizon color a bit. Okay, so let's just give this a render. Oh wait, no, sorry, one more thing I want to do. I just want to add some environment lighting, set it to 0.5 and give it sky colour and I also want to add some ambient occlusion, set that to multiply. Now all of the stuff I've done so far are optional, we haven't actually got into any essentials but I'm just trying to make a nice looking scene at the moment and uh, hoping you're learning a few tips for that along the way. Okay, so we haven't got any outlines yet so if we go to the compositor uh, and a quick way to do that is to press control left arrow uh, we can then start adding it. So, if you cl uh, click on Use Nodes, which is down here, and Backdrop, uh, we should be able to get into the compositor now. If you add a viewer, uh, we can then put our image into the viewer, and that little black box now becomes our render. So we can now see what we're doing um, quite clearly. Okay, so now if we uh, let's get into it. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go and add a filter, uh, well, a filter node, and that's under the filter section, or whatever you want to call it. And this lets you do quite a few things. You can use this to sharpen your scenes and stuff like that. But we're wanting the Sobel, uh, or Sobel, I think it's pronounced Sobel. Um, that's what we're wanting in this um, filter type. Okay, now if we were to just put our image in this, which uh, we're not going to do, it will look horrible like that. But we are getting the outlines. What we want to put in is the alpha, because the alpha is just a um, black and white version of uh, the image. And if we put that into the image node like that, uh, you can then get this sort of white outline thing. Now we want it to not be white, we want it to be black, but that's simple, just go to colour, invert, like that, just put that in, and now if we look at our viewer, we can see we have this nice black outline. Now to mix that, well to put that back into our scene, we just go to colour, mix, set this to multiply, put this into the top and our image from the first node here, uh, into the bottom and now when we take a look at it into our viewer you can see we now have an outline but if you notice from the beginning or in the beginning we had an outline around the cube as well 
uh, well around this part anyway where the sphere was sort of behind it um, we had an outline there now the reason why it's not doing that is because there is no gap in the alpha here and we don't really want to add a gap because that would make some funny outlines um, sort of yeah it just look quite strange so what we're going to do instead is we're not going to use funny render layers everything's going to stay on the same render layer but the sphere is going to be on another one as well so what I'm talking about is if we go to the render uh, hub I guess that's what it's called um, we can then uh, go under layers and we have this thing called render layer. Now at the moment everything's on the same render layer and we can even just call this, in fact no, we'll just leave it as render layer but if we uh, click this plus we've now made another one and this is going to be called background or back whatever you want to call it and um, we can now play around with these render layers so on the render layer here you can see all of these layers are selected and that means that no matter what layer things are on they're going to be rendered in this render layer but we only want the first layer there so we're just going to click on that like that and with the back um, it's the same but we're going to want to choose that the second one and uh, what we're going to do then with the back render layer selected is click on all Z and I'll explain what that does in a bit but now if uh, we select layer 2 on our scene so just down here or you can click on it here even though you'll see nothing change it will actually help the render happen and where is everything? strange oh wait no it's there but it's eh? oh no we haven't moved anything to this uh, back render layer sorry about that we're going to want to select our sphere press M and that will bring up this move to layer thing if you hold shift and select the second layer we'll then have both selected meaning the sphere is on both layers so now if we render this uh, you can see if we make it see the back layer you can see that there's a big cutout where the cube is and it's just the cube just reappeared because it's part of the compositor uh, to make it appear but uh, with the new alpha we can make the outline happen so we're just going to duplicate the render layer and uh, choose back and then we're going to uh, duplicate the Sobel value like that uh, sorry the Sobel node and put the alpha into the image just like we did with this but just with a new Sobel and if we just bring these up a bit like that we can now go to color mix set this to add and if we just uh, put the image out of the first Sobel in one of them and the other one into that you can then see if we look at uh, well you can see it's now worked but um, basically what's happened is it's got the alpha from this render layer and uh, done the soap bell thing with it and then added it to the um, other one and even though half of it's the same you still got that new white line uh, where the, the alpha sort of starts on this render layer and that's just how it works uh, sort of hard to explain if you know your way around the compositor and you know your stuff you should understand it um, but it's sort of hard to explain without going into lots and lots of detail well it might be I don't know anyway I'm digressing um, now you might come across this problem I'm about to show you now this is um, but you might not but so you were to add some transparency to the cube just give it quite a bit so the cube is barely visible and you render it then if we just wait a bit because it takes time for things to render okay so if we just jump along to the compositor uh, you should see that the outline is also slightly faded like it looks black but that's mostly because well the it sort of is but it's not as black as it can be you can see the sphere has a much thicker more pronounced black outline and yeah so things look a bit awkward so the way we fix this is if we get um, our render layer here and go to converter math 
just by adding that. Put that in there. Set this to greater than. And then set the value here to zero. You'll then see we have an equally thick black outline as the sphere. Um, and just to prove this actually works, uh, if we were to just put our alpha in the image there, you will see a slight difference. The outline here gets thinner and the sphere has an outline there. But if you don't want that, you can just uh, use that method and it will all start working again. Okay, so that uh, concludes this tutorial. I'm just going to bring the alpha back so I don't like transparency when it's not needed. Um, yeah, as I say, that concludes the tutorial. I hope you enjoy and make those funny 3D cartoon things uh, that you sometimes see and you always wonder how they get that outline. Um, you now know how and I hope you enjoy creating this. Wait, I'm repeating myself. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe if you learnt anything from this tutorial, which I'm assuming you have, otherwise there was no point in you watching it then uh, please do subscribe and check out my other videos, you might learn more. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.